Spain beat Albania 1-0 to top the group. They are now top of Group B. Uh, this group, not much fast for them. This game was happening concurrently as the Italy versus Croatia game. So you can imagine how hyped that game was and then how just there this game was. Um, Italy, basically, uh, France, uh, sorry, Spain basically made subs all through the team. I think only two players are the ones that played in this game that didn't play, that have played previously. And I want to say it is one of the center backs. Actually, let me just confirm that. But yeah, Spain managed to get a 1-0 win. In the second half, they looked a bit shaky. Albania was all over them like a rush. Albania was just getting shots off. They were really pushing them back. They, uh, oh, this is the lineup. So uh, Laporte is the only player who started this game and started previous games. Um, they changed everyone. Raya, goalkeeper, Jesus Navas came, started, he was captain. Daniel, Vivian, Grimaldo, Merin, Zubimendi, Torres, Olmo, Yarthabal, and Jose Lu up front. Um, yeah, I did, there's just not much chemistry in this side. Like, I mean, I guess all of them has just been brought together and bunched up together. They just won this game off of talent, to be fair. Um, Danny Olmo was really, really good. He had the assist for Ferran Torres' goal. Torres was playing off the right wing. And yeah, Danny Olmo just gets the ball and just, just like a really serious through ball. They went to VR just to check that he was an offside. It was very, very close. But yeah, it was ruled not offside. Automated offside, I mean, not VR. Um, yeah, then he managed to just slot it in the corner to make it 1-0 in the first half. And they had a few chances here and there, but nothing really great. Um, Albania in the second half were really, really good. Like the combination of Asani, Aslani, and Ramadani in midfield, they just gave them a lot of problems. But yeah, Spain managed to hold on. Um, again, as I said, I was just really focused on the Croatia-Italy game. Really didn't spend too much time here. We also knew that Albania didn't... Um, well, if they won, they might have had a chance to... Or at least had a shout. But the way Spain just started the game, they just really nullified them. Even in the second half, they brought in Lamin Yamal just to try and get a second and close the game off. But yeah, they couldn't get through. Yeah, So Albania had good chances. Barami had a few... Chances. I, I think it was Asani who had the shot. Asani coming off the coming coming onto his left foot is the boy is really dangerous. And you saw in the last game against uh, Croatia how he was just killing them when he came off the left foot. Even the assist for I want to say whose goal was it? Like Manai. I think it was Manai's goal. I can't remember who scored. Oh, it was Aslani's goal. Yeah, Asani assisted Aslani if I'm not wrong. So yeah, he he's he's a baller. I uh, need to find out which team he plays for actually. He plays for Guangzhou. He's 29 years old. Um, yeah, he's just one of those people who you, you know that they really, really wait <laughs> for tournaments to be big. Aslani plays for Inter, 22 year old. So they have a good young team, I, I think. Like oh, good young players, let me say that. And they've been, in as much as they've lost all their games, no, they've lost two and drawn one to Croatia. They have shown a lot of resilience. So there's a lot to build upon in this team. And yeah, hope they can qualify for the next tournament and do big things. But that's it for them for Euro 2024. And they can only hope to qualify for the next big one. Spain move on to the round of 16. No fuss. They will now play the winners. Not the winners. They will now play the... Um, let me tell you, this thing is so confusing because... You don't know who the number threes are. You don't know who, because you need to know who the number threes are and all of that stuff. The best place, number three, the second place, number three. So it's hard to tell you that, oh, they're going to play this guy and this guy in the group unless it's confirmed. So until it's confirmed, it's it's just a bit difficult. But uh, it says they are going to play number three of group A, D, E, or F. So one of those groups. So <laughs> we still don't know who that is. But yeah, whatever game it is, the fixer shouldn't be as difficult. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Spain through to the round of 16 of Euro 2024. See you tomorrow. We are live for the 7 p.m. game and the 10 p.m. game. So we'll do all games because two games are happening at 7, two games at 10. We'll be live, live, live on TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, and X. Peace.